Hello, my YouTube friends. It's me, your old buddy Magnum, over at Magnum Videos. I wanted to show you something today about the Phantom 4. We were going to fly today, but the weather uh, didn't cooperate. It's uh, terribly cold, which is not a problem because aircraft usually perform better in cold weather because the air is denser. But it is so windy that I don't want to chance it. So instead, what we're going to do is talk about the gimbal tilt adjustment. The other day, when I was flying for the second time, I noticed that when I tilted the gimbal up or down, it seemed like it was way too responsive. It, in other words, it, it took off way too fast and didn't give me a smooth transition. So I wanted to adjust that and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So let's, uh, we've got the uh, Phantom 4 turned on, we've got the controller turned on, we have the uh, iPhone 6 turned on and we're connected to the DJI Go app. So we're going to click the little three dots over here on the side. We're going to go to the camera setting down here and then we're going to go to advanced settings over here. Now you have three configurations and you can adjust those to whatever combination you want. Uh, when I was flying the other day and uh, when I looked at this, it was set where this was all the way over to 100%. And I think that was the cause of the oversensitivity. So I'm going to put this down about 35. All right, there we go, 35. Uh, enable upwards gimbal tilt limit to 30 degrees. I think we want that on because if we tilt up over 30 degrees, I think there's a possibility that we'll get props in the, uh, in the shot and I don't want that. So we're going to limit that. And uh, gimbal, pi gimbal pitch smoothness, uh, 15 is about halfway so that should make it fairly smooth. I'll do a test with it uh, whenever we get some good weather and see if that needs to be adjusted. Uh, anymore. Enable synchronized gimbal pan follow. I'm going to turn that on and I think that should take care of it. And I'm not going to mess with configuration two or three. We're just going to start with one and if I make changes I will do that on configuration two and see if that works better and then I can always go back to configuration one. So let's test the camera gimbal uh, sensitivity at this point. So I'm on the back dial on the back of the controller and we're going to tilt it up. We're going to start out a little slow and that seems to work pretty well. And then we're going to go down at full speed. So it starts slow and then kind of speeds up. So I think you know with a light touch you can get uh, a pretty smooth, pretty smooth movement. So that's it for today. If you've got any questions, let me know. I don't know a great deal about this aircraft or the system uh, so far, but I do know a little bit about it. So leave a comment, leave a question if you've got one. And uh, if you have lots of questions, go to my YouTube the video that I put up yesterday called Ask Me Anything and you'll get a channel shout out if you leave a question. So I believe that's it for now. Until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused. <laughs>